Well, ladies and gentlemen, playing in that Dixieland band in school was quite a lot of fun. But somehow it just didn't seem to fulfill my requirements of a musical career. Although it did help and further my musical education because many of the engagements we played with this little band helped me to increase my knowledge of music. And I always had the greatest admiration for my teachers, particularly my music teacher. And there was a time when I thought more than anything else, I wanted to be a music teacher, to be able to take some young embryonic talent and mold it into a great virtuoso. Let's go back a few years after I graduated from high school, where I actually did spend some time teaching youngsters how to play the piano. And now, students, we're going to discuss a very famous form of music, the piano concerto. Now, the piano concerto is composed of two different parts. First of all, there is a the solo part, it is also known as the theme. And then there is the accompaniment. This is the accompaniment, usually played by a symphony orchestra or a second piano. Since we have no symphony orchestra nor a second piano, we will have to simulate the piano concerto with our own classroom piano. Now, are there any students here that would like to try the piano concerto with their teacher? Vicki? Fine. Vicky is going to play the piano concerto. Now, Vicky, first of all, I'm going to play an introduction. And then right after the introduction, you come in with the solo part or the big cadenza. What? I'll show you how it goes. It's very simple. See? And so forth and so on, you see? Now, that takes you to the next movement. And in the next movement, you must play on the black keys. It's very important because it's very easy to slip off and play in the cracks. Mm. And uh, then when we get to the big finale, you play that with a lot of feeling because that's the finish of the concerto. Okay? Are you ready to start? Ready. All right. Oh, Vicky, would you mind sitting a little closer? I meant to the piano. Okay. audience like this after playing your concerto. <laughs> well, ladies and gentlemen, that's the way it would have been had I become a music teacher. However, it wasn't long after this that I became very, very interested in another form of music the religious form. It was after a visit I made 
to my aunt, who happens to be a nun in a convent in northern Wisconsin. She introduced me to some wonderful church music. In fact, I played in church on several different occasions. I would like to relive some of those beautiful moments in the church with the help of the Norman Lupoff Choir. We would like to do for you now the rosary. Thank you. 